Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today you find me continuing my walk down the Roman Road, Stane Street that goes from London all the way down to the Sussex coast. We're picking up where I left off at Halnaka. This is Halnaka Tree Tunnel, um, featured in episode three. Go back and have a look at that if you haven't already seen that one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head in this direction. Now the Roman road here basically goes off through private land and through people's houses um, but we can pick that up a little bit further uh, down uh, on one of the actual main roads. So they have built a main road um, just like the A29 I believe it is um, that goes through Billingshurst and Pulborough. So this road will run partly on the Roman road and uh, I'll show you some of that with a dash cam um, so you can picture that up and then we'll pick it up when we get down to Chichester. Also just going to stop off and show you something on the way as well. It's not part of the Roman road but it is linked to the Roman road and uh, yeah, interest, if you are planning to do this walk yourself it would make an interesting stop off on the way. So here we have Boxgrove Village Hall in Boxgrove Village and uh, just a notice board here and the reason I'm bringing you to this area is this uh, Boxgrove Priory as it says here 12th century uh, abbey um, recorded in the Doomsday Book so um, this would be a place where people travelling down the Roman Road would find shelter um, in this area um, a bit like the um, Roman encampment I was talking about in one of my uh, previous videos um, obviously it's uh, talking about Halnaka windmill from episode 3 and uh, just a little note there about Boxgrove Man in 1993 a huge ship boat estimated to be 500,000 years old was excavated from the now restored Boxgrove Quarry. Further discoveries of human teeth along with flint tools and animal bones led to this site being considered of high archaeological importance. The Boxgrove man is thought to have been part of a European population of hominids that later developed into Nathanimals and Homo sapiens. So the Priory is located behind these buildings and you can park in this uh, car park in Boxgrove. If you head down to roughly there where the, there is a gap in the wall, there's a, there's a small road that takes you down to the Priory. I'm not going to take you there on this video because I'm going to insert some footage from a previous, vi from a previous visit to Boxgrove uh, when the weather was a little bit grittier. part of Boxgrove Priory and this uh, building used to be used for entertaining and for lodgings and uh, it was built in um, I think 1132 and was in use until the mid 1500s. Um, whilst it was um, in use it was uh, crown land and uh, was used by the Benedictine monks. Um, so if you were coming down the Roman road, which at that point I'm not sure it would have been still in use, uh, but often trackways survived a long time. And the section of the road that we've been down from uh, Bignor to Halnaka is quite well preserved. So it's not out there to say that that road wasn't still being used um, 500 years ago. And uh, yeah, you would be able to lodge in this building um, and it would also be used for entertaining people coming through 
Um, you can almost see there's a couple of uh, sort of floors. So I'd imagine when there would have been a uh, sort of a, a grand hall at the top that they would have uh, feasted in. Today this part of the Priory is used mainly um, as a backdrop to weddings and to photos. It's uh, open to the public and free to use so and it's extremely well kept as you can see from the footage. So if you're in the area drop by and have a look. At this point we end the section of the road that we're able to drive on and it heads off and goes through a lake of all things and ends up at a business park and uh, we will park the car and then I'm going to take you for a walk down the rest of it and just see what we can see. Ultimately this uh, section of the road is going to end up in Chichester but the parts that we're going to walk down are quite picturesque. So here we are by the side of the River Lavern and the Roman road runs off in this direction. Back off in that direction. We are in the area of the Roman road. It's not clear as to what exact location the road is um, but I uh, find it interesting that we've got this river running right the way down the side of this large embankment and then it's going to tuck itself under the road and then come out the other side. Um, it's going to get very noisy around here with uh, traffic but I'm going to try and film what I can.
here we find a modern day soldier standing guard just beside the old Roman road. So this is Linton Gardens, a uh, wall memorial in the centre there. We've got another couple of soldiers over here, just standing guard. Obviously been a park for a while because uh, the trees surrounding this are quite tall and, and therefore probably oldish. But um, Chichester got very popular in the uh, Georgian and Victorian days. So this is probably a, well not this bit, but the park itself is probably a Victorian relic. Interesting the way they've made the wall around these two soldiers out of sandbags where they probably would have met their fate um, in the First World War. This uh, grand memorial to the people that gave their lives in the World Wars and some headstones just over there. I'll have a quick look online to see if I can find out any more history about this. I don't know whether it's an old churchyard and they were moved across there or not. Um, as you can see, just over in the distance there, some of the older buildings again. It's a real mix um, on this road. You've got some very new buildings there, right next to some very old ones. But uh, all of these have come way past the, or way after, the Romans were marching their way into town. So here we go, we've got a little information board um, about this area. So as I said, Nitton Gardens is the name of it. Got an old plan of the old maps from 1879. So yeah, I was uh, right in thinking it probably was a, a Victorian invention here. And uh, yeah, I was inquiring about this, but uh, yeah, you're standing in what used to be the burial ground for Chichester. So, uh, first used in the early 1100s, um, although there had been an earlier Roman cemetery on part of this site. The burial ground was divided into two by what is now New Park, which is uh, that bit over there. So right here we can see where the Roman walls around Tishta, right next to the old road, just coming past this church here and uh, heading towards the centre of Chichester. So this is where the gate to the city would be, uh, so Novo Magnus means New Market Town and Reginiorium is the tribe that used to live here prior to the Romans, the Regini. Here we find ourselves at East Pallant Cottage. Cottages here. Um, these are roughly angled 
in line with where the road cuts through Tista and these obviously look like quite old uh, cottages maybe coaching inns um, so it's possible that the road would have run past here and um, it would have needed coaching inns. So here we get sight of uh, Chichester Cathedral just a bit further down from the cottages of East Pallant and to my right we have the Pallant House Art Gallery um, quite well known in the uh, art world and a lovely place to visit. So I've uh, climbed up onto the old Roman or medieval walls of Chichester uh, just to try and get a bit of perspective so I think just down this little road over here is where I can trace the road going down to and as I said previously right next to or very near the cathedral when you go into the cathedral and I've done a short on this on the channel you can see bits of an old Roman villa uh, the mosaic underneath the floor um, of Chichester um, but the road would have cut all the way through these buildings here which are now the county hall buildings uh, for uh, Sussex uh, and Chichester and beyond that a car park. Um, I am going to come back and do a video on the Roman walls and um, I'm also going to do another separate video on Chichester Cathedral at some point. Um, particularly cool bit of building here. I think these are called bastions. I'll research this uh, for when I do do a proper video on the, the wall itself. But obviously it was an old um, fortification uh, and then like a building plonked on top. Not very pretty building either to be honest. Um, but as you can see, running out of daylight. Uh, this, uh, as I've said on some of my posts in previous videos, struggling to make content at this time of year just because of the short days, uh, the weather. I've literally just got a gap in the weather and uh, other things happening in my uh, personal life. So um, I'll try and be regular with making these videos. Hope you have enjoyed this. If you could like and subscribe, just hit the little icon in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks for watching.